The smell of 30 pigs lingers in your nose, and the carpet of your car, and the creases of your hands. I'm really lucky that I commute to school. One of those reasons is I don't have to bring a really smelly pair of boots into a dorm room. After two months of training Newt, a 13-week-old Yorkshire pig, for my Intro to Animal Science course at the University of Connecticut, I realized that I was going to miss the smell. I thoroughly enjoyed my time with my pig. He's the light of my life. And I don't know, working with the animals so closely for seven weeks gave me an opportunity that I never thought that I would have here. After training one of the animals that call Horse Barn Hill home, each of us had an opportunity to show that animal in Little Eye, or the Little International Livestock Show, hosted by Yukon's Block and Bridal Club. We attended two practices a week with either a chicken, a cow, a horse, a sheep, or a pig, and we were led by herdsmen, who were previous students that helped us train and prepare our animal for the show. Some students are showing Little Eye and then our herdsmen and then they're the chairman, right? So every fall they're participating in Little Eye to some extent. This class is required by every student. Every student has to do this class here. So to be a part of that I think is really valuable for them, right? Using positive reinforcement or clicker training, I taught Newt how to follow a cane around his pen with all the other pigs in it and sometimes other people too. He came to really love peaches and banana bread, which I definitely spoiled him with. After the two months were up, me and Newt were fully, fully confident in our ability to demonstrate what we had learned to the judge. At 8 a.m. on Saturday, November 2nd, students and herdsmen crowded the small entry room in the swine unit. We watched our pigs load onto a trailer destined for Horsebarn Hill Arena, the home of Little Eye for the past 90 years. This would be the pig's first time outside of the swine unit. We made our way into the building to find we wouldn't be showing in the arena, we'd be showing in a small makeshift pen off to the side. I saw my boyfriend first, searching for me amongst the crowd, slowly filling with everybody's family and friends. I saw my brother second, he had grown at least an inch taller since the last time I had seen him, and my mom brought her boyfriend, Chris, and my best friend, Allison, walked all the way from north in 40 degree weather, which at the time, to us, was really cold. It was pretty disappointing to have to tell them that they wouldn't get to see me in the arena alone with Newt at any point in time, and that they'd have to stand inside the arena itself in order to get a good view of the pig enclosure because the small set of bleachers that they set up for us had filled up within five minutes of the event starting. When the first pigs were released off the trailer, their noses instantly buried into the dirt as if they had never seen anything like it before. And that's when we realized that they actually hadn't. Whispers started to rise like steam from the crowd. All this coffee breath was filling the air and Eyes were darting around, faculty were looking at students, were looking at herdsmen, were looking at pigs, and parents were just watching in confusion with no idea of what was going on. The first group of students entered the pen, canes in hand, and attempted to win the attention of their pig in a completely foreign environment. The judge was nothing short of disgusted with the scene, and phrases such as, these pigs are completely untrained, and I've never seen anything like this before, led to her bringing her daughter, a nationally recognized swine competitor, into the pen to demonstrate to us the proper way to show a pig. For her to say that the animals weren't properly trained, to have somebody show us how to like professionally show a pig, which wasn't the main goal of Little Eye at all. It was to just gain familiarity. None of us are professional showmen. None of us. It turns out that our lead herdsman chose to use positive reinforcement training, which involves giving the pig a treat every time he does something that you want him to do, which positively reinforces the behavior. In swine competition, they use negative reinforcement training, which involves poking or prodding the pig with the cane in order to get him to move in the desired direction. Once you teach a pig to sit or to come when you call its name, you can teach it to do anything, you know? So you can use that method to show a pig, like with a cane, how you, normally people show a pig. But that's where the gap happened. So what else was there for me to do besides just laugh it off and enjoy my last day with Newt? 
I decided just to tap him lightly on the side with the cane and let him enjoy his time in the dirt. The judge never asked me any of the questions that I had prepared answers for, but Newt and I won fifth place, and our pigs all had the most exciting day of their lives. I still catch little whiffs of that smell sometimes when I get in my car.